hey guys um welcome back to the channel good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you're watching me from dumelang which means hello so today i thought i'd uh, do something sorry i'm looking at my phone something um slightly different <clears throat> and um most times i need to remove this because of the reflection most times these videos are done when when um you know you've gotten a a gathering or a crowd or at least a lot of people have subscribed or because then people would like to know you know what does this girl have to say but i thought nah i'm not gonna wait i'm gonna do this so that uh, um two three years down the line or when i turn 40 or 50 i can be able to go back to this video and be like oh so that's what she learned okay now let me tell you what i learned till now because I believe we learn as we grow as things happen so yeah this will be me looking back at my memories and thinking hmm that that was so true so yeah let's start number one um it's never that serious if it's meant to be it will be yeah this has this 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 is so true. If it's meant to be, it will be. We stress over so many things in life. We stress over, am I going to get that job? Am I going to get that man? Am I going to get, you know, this and that? Will I be able to buy that house? Will I be able to do this and that? But it's never that serious. I'm a believer. So I believe in just praying, telling God what you want, staying in faith, and it will come. So number one is it's never that serious. If it's meant to be, it will be. And I agree. Number two, that man that you can that you can't live without imagine you can <laughs> so i think there's a there's there's a, I, I can't remember i don't want to give uh i'm not going to give details anyway there's this person this man that i dated once upon a time and in my i always thought i could never live without per this person i used to think, look at my life and think oh my god i cannot live without per that person well it's been a couple of years and guess what i'm still alive <laughs> so yeah you can live without him that man that you think you can't live with that you can live without him number three your mama gonna be your bestie one day that is so true um i think we all have the moment whereby we're fighting we're not getting along with our mamas especially for us women but as i've grown older i've gone to i've come to realize that every waking moment okay not every waking moment but i tend to call her a lot i tend to talk to her a lot i tend to confide in her nowadays and we chat we chat like best friends she gives me a, she gives me a, a, uh, advice like a mom but we chat like best friends and i think we've gotten to that age and i am so blessed to actually be at this stage because it's been yeah it's been a journey it's been a journey so number four not everyone is your friend I don't think I need to explain this, but it's true. Not everyone is your friend. Not everyone is your friend. Not everyone is your friend. I don't know how many times I gotta tell you this. Not everyone is your friend. Let's wait for the neighbor to go. We were waiting for the neighbor to go. He's normally so loud. Anyway. I hope you have your juice. Anyway, I just wanted to show you my my glass and uh, my straw. So, not everyone is your friend. Yeah, let that sink in. Number five, if you're not married at twenty five, it's okay. If you don't have a if you don't have a home by thirty, it's okay. If no kids by thirty five it's okay everyone's timing is different but god's timing is the best i always used to think oh by 25 i'm gonna be married by 30 i'd have maybe two or three kids by 35 i'd have my other kids because i've always wanted seven boys i would have a home i would be you know i've always wanted to be a housewife so i thought i would be a housewife but somehow i'd be making money somehow but in this day and age it's possible but here we are and sometimes i think i just have to remind myself that it's okay it's okay i had a plan it didn't work out it's okay it doesn't matter where you are in life if you haven't gotten to where you want to be guess what 
there's still time. We don't know how much time we have, that's true, but there's still time. Always live each day like it's a gift. So today I woke up, this is my gift from God. What am I going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? And all our famous fly still around. So think about that. So number six, joy is not a destination. It's every day until you get there. And by the way, there is no there. You know, I used to read books on happiness. I used to, to wonder why is it that I can't find happiness? Where does happiness come from? Is it in just that one thing? Maybe when I get married, I'll be happy. Maybe if I get my dream job, I'll be happy. Maybe if I go here, there and everywhere, I'll be happy. And then I came to, sorry for the noises, guys. And then I came to realize that Joy is not at that destination. It's what you do in between. Everything that you do, your attitude in between, the things that you do in between to get to that destination. And by the way, there is no destination. Because once you want to get married and you get married, does that mean you die immediately if you say, I do? No. No. You actually want the next thing. And that's the thing about human beings. You want the next thing. You want this thing, you get it, but you want the next thing. You get this thing, but you want the next. There's always a next thing to get. So... There's no just destination. Joy is in the now. Your attitude, how you see life, it's up to you. I wake up and I choose to be happy. What do you choose when you wake up? So number seven is learn to love yourself first because it makes it easier to love others. This one is tricky. Even in, um, now, it's you know we all have our insecurities. I have my insecurities. But I've come to realize the more I love myself, the more I'm able to love others. Because it's hard to do something that you can't do for yourself when I'm talking about love. If I can't love myself, how am I expected to love you? How? It can happen, maybe. But I don't know. To, to some degree or to some extent, I feel as if it won't be as genuine as when I truly love myself. Then I'm able to, to love you. And there's nothing as beautiful, nothing as beautiful as God's love because once you've experienced God's love life is worth it um, number eight enjoy life you live every day but you die once by the way I don't believe in YOLO you, um, what is YOLO you only live once I don't believe in YOLO I don't I believe you live every day but you only die once so I'm going to live every day and the day that and the, I can't talk and the day that I die that's it. I won't wake up and say, oh, I'm dead. No. So you only live. You don't only live once. You live every day. But you only die once. And that's what I believe. So let's see. Let's see. Enjoy life. Um, number nine. Have no regrets from today. Don't hold back. Just do it. This one is not easy because, I mean, we, everybody has uh, a certain regret or another. You know, there's something you didn't do, you wish you did. What's holding you back from doing it now? Um, I'm trying to live life differently. I'm trying to not regret. I don't want to look back and say, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. No, I don't want to wish anymore. If I'm given an, an opportunity, I'll grab it. I'll try it. If I fail, well and good. But if I fail and I can do it again, I'll do it again until I, I succeed. Some things you do once and if you fail, it's okay. It's a bucket list thing, ticked it off, it's gone. But there are those things you fail at, you continue, you fail at, you continue, you fail at, you continue. And finally, you will succeed. So, have no regrets. Do what you can now. Don't postpone to tomorrow. Do what you can now. And number 10. Do that thing you always wanted to do. Now, I'm talking to myself here because I always wanted to start a YouTube channel. And here we are. We have a channel. Um, what's that thing you've always wanted to do? What? You've never had the time to do it. You've never had the guts to do it. You've never had the courage to do it. You know? What is it? For me, it was a YouTube channel. Standing in front of... Standing or sitting in front of a camera is not easy for me. Um, I will not go into that as to why. It's not. But here I am. I'm doing it. 
and I'm going to keep doing it and doing it until the day no I'm gonna keep doing it there's no day I'm just gonna keep doing it because it's something that I've always wanted to do and why not plus in case you didn't know for those who do not know me it, it helps with my confidence because I don't like looking at myself. I not not like that. As in, I don't like ma making videos and then looking at myself in the video. I'm always like cringing. So I said, I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna work on it until I get to the point where I'm able to watch a video of myself and be like, hmm, who's that? Who she be? Who she? So yeah, this is me working on my confidence. But it's also me doing something I've always wanted to do. What's that one thing you've always wanted to do? Why not just do it? Get up and go do it. What you gotta lose, like me, nothing. I've gained, I have subscribers, I have a routine, and I enjoy making videos. And funny enough, I love to edit. So what's your thing? What's holding you back? Tell me in the comments below if it's something that you it's you want to share with me put it down in the comments below so yep those are the things that i've learned in my very few years on this earth if you know you know and yeah so as i was saying at the beginning of the video these are memories that i'm making and you get to come along for the ride so some videos i'll make and you'll wonder hmm and some videos i'll make and you'll be like oh so I take this space as a place where I can be able to create memories for myself, for whoever who wants to come for the ride. And hey, if in the long run we become a humongous family, why not? Why not? Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please like the video, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so that you are notified. And I learned how to do the playlist thing. So you can actually watch my videos in a playlist one after the other yeah you know yourself the person who told me you know yourself you're welcome mm -hmm. you're welcome anyway um let's meet in the next video guys and uh yeah god bless you thanks for watching bye clearly i love these glasses <laughs>